Channel 13 News at 6 starts now. A former NFL player and longtime Las Vegas resident OJ Simpson has died after a battle with cancer. Thanks so much for joining us here on Channel 13 Live at 6. I'm Joe Muller. And I'm Trisha Keen. Simpson's family shared the news on X saying he was surrounded by his children and grandchildren. And tonight we remember Simpson's legacy and his impact on our community. Here's National Scripps correspondent Clayton Sandell. Orenthal James Simpson's life took him from celebrated football and movie star to vilified accused murderer. OJ's career began as a star college player at USC, winning the Heisman Trophy before playing 11 seasons for the NFL. After retiring from football in 1979, nobody does it better than Hertz. Simpson jumped into commercials as a pitchman for Hertz. Nordberg, hi, you buddy. Hey, Doc says I should be on my bean and as good as new in a week. And acting in films like the Naked Gun series. But the event that would define Simpson for the rest of his life came in 1994. His ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend Ron Goldman were found dead in the Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles. Ron and Nicole were butchered. After a low-speed police chase with that infamous white Bronco carried live by virtually every TV network in the country, I have OJ in the car. Simpson was arrested. His murder trial had the entire nation riveted. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. More than 150 million people tuned in to watch the verdict. Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder. Simpson was acquitted, a decision that exposed America's deep divides in perceptions of race and police conduct. Three years later, in 1997, a civil jury found Simpson liable for the murders, ordering him to pay more than $33 million to the Goldman and Brown families. He wasn't punished in any way in the criminal trial. And the civil trial gave us an opportunity to have him, quote unquote, punished. Though he would try, Simpson would never regain his former reputation. After a series of run-ins with police, in 2007 he was accused of robbing sports memorabilia dealers in a Las Vegas hotel at gunpoint. I didn't know I was doing anything illegal. I thought I was confronting friends and retrieving my property. He was convicted, sentenced to 33 years in prison, but released on parole in 2017. And I will be no problem, you know, and I, I think I kept my word. In February, Simpson talked about his health troubles. My health is good. I mean, obviously I'm dealing with some issues, uh, but hey, I think I'm just about over it. His family says Simpson died Wednesday of cancer, closing a chapter on one of America's most infamous falls from grace. O.J. Simpson was 76. Clayton Sandell, Scripps News. Exactly 13 years after O.J. Simpson was acquitted in that infamous double murder trial, he was found guilty of conspiracy to commit armed robbery and kidnapping in Clark County. The local prosecutor who brought those charges has always insisted that the case was completely separate from the murder trial, though it did land Simpson in prison. And our Brian Horwath joins us now live from Palace Station, where that robbery happened back in 2007. Brian. Yeah, guys, as David Roger put it, he was only ever concerned with truth and justice when he tried cases. But he does understand that to some, he's always going to be the guy who got O.J. Simpson. Now, back on that September night, back in 2007, David Roger first learned that O.J. Simpson might be involved in that robbery scheme at the palace station he knew that he had a high profile case possibly on his hands and he knew that that case could be in his future a robbery detective had called me and said that he was going to the palace station uh, to investigate a robbery where oj simpson was the suspect um, and, and i thought to myself there's no way it could be oj simpson Though Roger says Simpson and his attorneys were offered a plea deal, Simpson decided to roll the dice on a criminal trial in Las Vegas. That's a gamble he would ultimately lose, leading to a prison term that lasted for nine years. Now in 2017, Simpson was granted release from prison and settled in Summerlin to live a mostly quiet suburban existence, maintaining a presence on the golf course, at some local restaurants he frequented, and on social media. Now, Summerlin is also where David Roger lived, and after Simpson's release from prison, there was a chance encounter between Roger and Simpson in the parking lot of a country club in Summerlin. It was there that Simpson told Roger, Mr. DA, I don't have anything against you. Reporting just outside Palace Station for Channel 13, I'm Brian Horwath. 
Brian, thank you. Well, from football hero to prison convict, TV pitchman to public pariah, O.J. Simpson never admitted guilt in the armed robbery and kidnapping case at Palace Station. The former football star made several attempts to have the charges against him dropped, then several more attempts to get a new trial. He was denied by a Clark County District judge uh, in 2013 and again on appeal by the Nevada Supreme Court in 2015. But he was granted early parole after serving only nine years behind bars. We spoke to his attorney, Malcolm Laverne, in 2017. He's had perfect performance as a prisoner. He's going, I anticipate he's going to have perfect performance as, uh, as a parolee. And then when that terminates, he'll be fine. He's going to play, he was a retiree before this. He's going to be a retiree after this. He's going to play golf. He's going to like his family and friends. I think he's going to be a lot more in tune to the plight of inmates or the downtrodden now since he spent uh, nine years with a lot of people who had a lot less fortune than he did and didn't enjoy the success and the fame that he did. Well, Bruce Fromong was a victim in that kidnapping and armed robbery case, but also a longtime friend of Simpson who testified in support of Simpson during his parole hearing. And he spoke with our Jaywon Jung about why he decided to do that. I know you were a victim in the robbery case, but why was it important for you to testify for him during the parole hearing? Well, I had forgiven him, you know, for what had happened. You know, we had talked, uh, you know, and uh, we had made amends. And, uh, you know, life has to go on. A lot of people don't, didn't know the other side of OJ that, you know, he did a lot of good things for people. Well, Fromong says he had an inkling Simpson's health was declining two weeks ago when Simpson wasn't able to do a signing for memorabilia. We also reached out to Mike Gilbert, a retired sports agent who represented Simpson. He said in part, quote, as most people know, OJ was a complicated individual and our relationship was a long and varied one. Well, as reactions pour in following OJ's passing, Abel Garcia stopped in Summerlin where he once lived and in that area and he once spotted in several spots of town there. Many in the community shared with me, with him, that uh, what this loss means to them. He was an amazing football player at one point and then uh, obviously all the tragedy that happened with his um, estranged wife uh, was a sad time in his life and it's sad for that family for sure. It was a very big surprise to me you know, that he actually passed away of cancer. And I know that he lived in the Summerlin area for a number of years. Miss, you said you've actually seen O.J. Simpson yourself. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that experience. We were, we lived in California for a very long time. My husband is from there. He and his wife, Nicole, came in and sat probably four tables away from us. And they were just normal people having dinner. Mm -hmm. Well, fanatics are making sure they get a piece of O.J. Simpson memorabilia before this is all gone. That's right. Our Giovanni Carrillo introduces us to one local shop owner and explains why many want to get their hands on mementos with his signature. It has been crazy. I could tell you right now, I have never come into our store uh, as early as I did. Inside Inscriptographs Memorabilia in West Las Vegas. Just a huge amount of online traction for sales. Baseball signed by the late O.J. Simpson have been flying off the shelves. Uh, there was even people standing outside the door this morning. Tyler Feldman is the CEO of the memorabilia store. Uh, it is selling very quickly. He says that over the past six years that the former football great has lived in Las Vegas. He was signed just about anything from jerseys to helmets and baseballs to footballs and toys. And Thursday, when people learned about his passing, they flocked to their website to get their hands on keepsakes of the controversial figure. Um, one of our most Best-selling items is a baseball signed by O.J. Simpson, where we hadn't signed a bunch of those, and that one's probably our top seller at the moment. And while Thursday sparked a big interest for Simpson memorabilia, Feldman says his mementos have been some of the best sellers online for roughly five years. People, they, they like the controversy, and he was definitely a centerpiece to a collection. People just love the conversation of saying, I had an O.J., or I have an O.J. Simpson signed jersey here. Simpson often drew a lot of attention around the valley, when he was out and about, including inside La Casa Cigar Lounge. Owner Mike Prieto says OJ was a regular for two years, had a membership and his own locker. Prieto was surprised to hear he passed away. He did have some people, you know, that would still want to take pictures of him and remember him in his heyday. Prieto says Simpson would visit the cigar lounge with his friends up to four times a month and order a cigar, a glass of wine or a martini. Uh, pretty quiet, pretty nice. Uh, he treated our staff really well. And while Simpson recently stopped coming to the lounge, Prieto says he left a lasting impact. A lot of commotion about his locker and whether or not we were going to be able to rent it out again and 
Uh, there were people jumping on the bit to get it. So his popularity was still out there. Reporting from Las Vegas, I'm Giovanni Carrillo. Definitely seen him at a few restaurants as well. Uh, he's been around town for many years yeah. now. Well, and be sure to stay with Channel 13 for the latest on O.J. Simpson. We'll have continuing coverage both on air and online at KTNV.com.